All right, so we are back here in the shop. Um, just after the holidays, things are kind of tore up in here. We uh, have <clears throat> been doing the best we can to get things going. Um, I wasn't gonna do a video about the drag bike, but basically all I did was put it together. I mean, it's not really too much going on there. And then there's the little fatty. We need the wiring there probably around spring. So this is my most recent addition here. Is this pipe bender i bought the pedestal from harbor freight as a metal bender and then bought the amazon pipe bender which is this deal right here um to bend the pipe but i think i should have set it to the side because then i could have put my uh, angle finder on it and bend the pipe and then stop at the correct angle because now what we're going to try to do now is duplicate this piece of pipe right here this bent one so this is the kind of bends you get. It is pinched a little bit in the middle, but not too bad. I don't think it's anywhere near what a hydraulic, you know, pinch bind or a bender would do. So <clears throat> this is my little welder. I love this thing, the 140D. Uh, it welds really nice. Um, I use good wire, which is here. This is the best wire I found, the 40. Okay, that stuff welds real nice. 030, not 035 uh looks like i'm getting lines from my led lights here uh if anybody knows leds just pulse really fast it's not steady on you just can't see it so that's why it gives you these strange lines in the video so like i said we're going to try to duplicate this pipe i need four of them exactly the same and that's going to be tricky so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna get to it bounce back from the pipe when you bend it. Boy, that's pretty fucking good right there. As you can see, we have four bent pieces of pipe. And I gotta tell you, I feel pretty accomplished for that. Uh, a lot of literal blood, sweat, and tears went into getting this thing ready. Uh, I was opening my masonry bit and almost cut my two fingers off right here. There was blood everywhere, it was bad. Uh, cut my fingers with a razor knife and uh, they go deep, we'll just say that. So this little pipe bender thing works pretty darn good. Um, I mean, for what I'm doing with it, man, you can't really ask for much more than that. So, uh, I'm just doing it by sight. Okay. Um, I have these little electronic angle finders that I'm going to use to make sure that, uh, everything is on the up. They have little magnets in them and it'll tell you what's going on. So <clears throat> I'm going to try to do a little mock-up of what the frame is going to be looking like. All right, so basically this would be the bottom of the frame, like this. There's going to be a little overhang right here for the uh, live axle. But then these, see they just go straight down and then bend in, like that. Then these will sit on here, and then will come in also. Wow, I can't believe it's sitting there. So basically this is the gist of the frame. Right there, there's gonna be a little area for that big tire. It, it should be plenty long. Um, it's a little swept forward, but there's a big ass tire in there. So I think it's sitting right here, should be just fine. Uh, it should be pretty awesome. So, you know, we'll cut this and I'll run my neck jig and everything with my uh, um, digital angle finders here and make sure that we have it plumb and uh, the right angle so <clears throat> that should be all we need as you can see here here's kind of the gist of the frame yeah i hope you got that before it fell over <laughs> but that's where we're at with the bike um now that they're bent we'll transfer them over here to the table 
and get these little test pieces out, get everything mounted right, measured perfectly, centered perfectly, squared perfectly, and we'll go around and, and then weld her up for good, and it won't be long after that. Because everything's basically just plug and play. Um, just bolt it to a mount. I'll make a mount. I got some steel uh, plate that I'm going to use. Uh, we'll mount the battery. Probably put some sort of metal strap around the outside to hold it there. Um, I have to wire it all up. The battery does not come with the plugs on it and everything, so I have to do that. That's going to be fun. So, it should be pretty freaking awesome when it's done, I'm telling you. So, I'm pretty stoked that I got these pipes bent today. I was really worried uh, having zero, I mean absolute zero, uh, pipe bending experience. So again, there's the gist of the frame. But yeah, like I said, uh, having zero pipe bending experience, I uh, was really worried that I was going to screw this up. But I did only screw up one pipe. It's right there. So I hit it in the corner so that nobody knows I made a mistake. <laughs> but it is uh, winter. We just got through the freaking holidays. I am so glad for that. I am not a fan of the holidays. It cost me a fortune. And uh, I'm a dude and a dad, so basically I get socks and underwear while I dish out tens of thousands for everyone else. So, uh, that's a good time. <laughs>